Take a load off Traveller and tell your story. You are now listening to Mackie. All right, so uh, please introduce yourself and tell us about uh, how you heard about Ashes of Creation. Uh, yeah, I started about pretty much where I feel most of the community started with back when the Kickstarter was in full effect, like the original one, not their mm. little summer things through their website. Um, yeah, I was just kind of doing my yearly look at the upcoming MMO videos on YouTube, trying to see if anything interesting was coming out um, after being let down multiple on multiple times so far. Right. Um, and I came across uh, Bless Online and Ashes of Creation. Um, at the beginning, I was geared towards more Bless Online because I thought the game was coming to <laughs> North America soon. But turns out they were they just had a Russian version that you can play if you were okay with that. But I was not. Uh, so I looked into Ashes, and turns out they had a Kickstarter. And I, I just started with looking at the community watching all the videos they had put out um what little content they did and it was just it looked like an amazing game just off of those uh, mage playthrough videos that literally they had just thrown together for the kickstarter um and so i ended up finding myself <laughs> pledging for the kickstarter and finding myself a guild and here we are almost <laughs> right <laughs> like, a year later <laughs> yeah can you believe it it's been been that yeah. long already Whew. all right so you are a streamer um <clears throat> as a streamer do you have plans to stream ashes of creation once it's released so as far as streaming the game uh i'm definitely gonna do that uh even though i am on the more competitive side of gaming so you'll find me playing fbs is mm -hmm. a lot as well um i'm a huge fan of mmorpgs and this is i feel is the first one i can really get behind so I, I'm going to love streaming it as far as content goes. I really don't know because I've never really streamed an MMORPG and, I still, and I'm just getting into streaming as well. Um, so kind of wherever it takes me, um, I'll definitely follow through. But I do plan on streaming this game because I will be playing it a lot. Right. So what other MMOs have you experienced other than, um, I guess, FPSs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when i started when i was a kid getting into video games oh wow was in its heyday or not really heyday i guess it was kind of falling off a little bit um but yeah so i started off with wow a little bit of runescape but i never really got into runescape right. <laughs> uh but yeah i pretty much started with wow i played that for almost two three years before like school started picking up so i couldn't really focus on it and then i also just got bored with the content so i was just kind of jumping from mmo to mmo following the new ones that came out because it's really cool to be a part of a community from the very beginning of a game yes so it is. i was i was trying to get in like early so i was i was mostly doing beta testing for the past couple years of mmorpgs but obviously nothing has fallen or has yeah nothing's <laughs> <laughs> literally nothing um all right so we're gonna move on to some ashes questions um have you chosen a class or a race for yourself um you know i was looking at this yesterday uh, again the spell sword or maybe even the blade caller that that was the fighter and mage mix and the fighter and summoner mix are oh. usually um, are those your play styles like range or like rogue like are those your your, your styles oh you, melee i don't know yeah um so i kind of flip-flop between like a, a ranger type character mm -hmm. and like a sword for hire type character um just kind of depends how i feel Right. Lately, with games, ranger characters haven't been so much fun because I do like being engaged a lot more and having to pay attention. And hopefully, with the way the combat system goes, playing like um, a sword type character um, will be a lot more fun because there's going to be a lot more reactionary type play. Right. Um, PvP, is that also one of your competitive points? 
Uh, absolutely. It is not an understatement to say I am hyped for the siege warfare right. and all the um, zone PvP areas. It's just going to be interesting how it plays into the game, and it, it's just awesome. Like <laughs> full scale wars, that's going to be awesome. Right. Um, so, are you only looking forward to the the big sieges, like the big scale battles, or do the some of the smaller PvP systems interest you as well, like caravans and uh, mercenaries and stuff like that? I'm definitely more interested in the siege warfare, just because that really hasn't been implemented in any MMOs yet. Um, it was kind of implemented in. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, that was one of the reasons I was mm -hmm. in the beta for that one. Um, but I, I'm excited for the caravans too, just because that kind of plays into the inner workings of the games and how each node goes against each node, so I'm interested in how that affects everything. Um, definitely going to be playing the arenas, because I know they said they were going to have an arena type system, so... Uh, yeah, I, I'm interested in the smaller things, but definitely more interested in the newer, I guess, content they'll be coming out with. Right. Def yeah, for sure. PvP is going to be uh, one of those staples of the game that everyone is going to be fixated on, watching very closely. Um, for anyone who recently got into <laughs> got into the Bless Online. Uh, early access slash Steam launch will know that what not to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't even comment on that game right now. I'm so angry. Uh, all right. So Steven mentioned that while you can be a citizen of a node and gain XP for that node, it's also possible that your XP gained in other zones um, will be put towards other nodes of that territory and help it level up. Do you think that people or guilds will steer clear of those adventure zones to not give their competitors an advantage? Maybe? I don't know. You're fine. Yeah. Very sluggish um, today. Yeah, I literally just woke up like 20 minutes ago. Me, yeah, me too. I have a big canister of coffee right now. <laughs> um i mean as far as like mining material doing simple quests and um other like such simple things like simpler mechanics uh i i think it, it should go towards that note um it's just like real world stuff when you do something in one nation like uh or a country uh like that business what, whatever you do that goes towards them it's not all of a sudden all going right back to where you came from right um so I, I feel like that's perfectly fine like it makes sense it creates boundaries it, it'll create competition it'll create conflict um and that's the main thing that ashes is trying to do is the player conflict because it's a player driven game so instead of like creating the story for us, they're just trying to force us into conflict to keep us going. The one problem I will not like is if they make dungeon XP, because they said uh, random special dungeons could pop up in different nodes uh, based off of something. If like, I can see a portion of the XP going to that node um, just because they did whatever to find that or something i guess but i don't want to be seeing all that xp go back to that node for these special dungeons because who knows maybe one of these dungeons end up becoming a, a huge point of the game for like a month or two because right. no one else has found a better one and all of a sudden that node is just rising up because of that that's just uh, i feel it's a little unfair making content like specific to that node because right. you, you're not going to want to go and do something that's going to help push a node, another node forward and even take you over um, just because you want to go play some endgame content or something. Yeah, um, definitely. I feel, I've, I feel you on that. Um, I've, I think that maybe there should be uh, an XP cap towards how much XP goes 
towards that node uh, maybe like for certain players or just you know just a general max XP cap for that specific um, content towards a node I don't know oh yeah no I definitely agree or some kind of like distribution method uh, something like that um, right uh, yeah because yeah, that would be a huge disadvantage to other nodes because then uh, what could pos potentially happen is uh, bigger guilds of the of that node um, could just use that as a form of propaganda you know hey we have this dungeon move to our <laughs> node you know and you'll get all that all the xps you'll get all the gold you know <laughs> yeah yeah, you've I got don't all know. these like noobs entering the node, and everyone's starting off there and stuff. And all of a sudden, half the game is in one node, and it's just yeah. I, I don't know. I I just feel like that's a area that can easily get um, mixed up, I guess, during the game, and can create some problems. Definitely, and um, I think it's just one of those things that needs to be. Uh, watched closely during testing and if it's if it becomes a system that is broken then it needs to be fixed and how you know like how are they going to fix it is going to yeah, be yeah uh, of course the big uh, yeah my dog is going crazy <laughs> <laughs> all good. right so we're going to keep up with the theme of citizenship so everyone is aware that you can only become a citizen of one node so once you lock in your citizen citizenship for one node, you are potentially locked from joining other nodes. So if so, if your buddies happen to uh, say, "Hey, let's move to this other other upcoming node," you have to denounce your citizenship to your current node in order to move over to another another city town metropolis whatever it might be <laughs> so you can own property you can own freeholds you can own apartments in the city um will you be participating in the housing system and if you plan on what is your preference like an apartment freehold and what do you plan on using your dwelling for um yeah of course i'm gonna plan on having my own place uh i feel like that's gonna be a fun aspect of the game and they've already released uh tons of uh what would you call it like homestead skins no i don't know what your you free would call free it hold, for... free hold yeah skins? your your freehold uh like artwork i guess you could say yeah, for what you could yeah, have yeah. yeah that's better to say it <laughs> <laughs> um and it's awesome i think it's cool um it, it allows players to you know buy something a little more get a little more involved in the game uh it would definitely be interesting to see what kind of mechanics they'll bring into to play the game uh like interesting uh, i don't know little boosts or something when you're at your house i don't know i can't even think of anything they could do with it but it, it'll be interesting what they do um and as far as what I'll be getting. I mean, if it's a like top floor New York style apartment where I have the whole floor to myself, I'll mm -hmm. probably have an, a, an apartment in the city. Uh, if not, I, I might go towards more of having my own homestead. It right. Just kind of just kind of depends on how the game plays out. For sure. And um, <clears throat> how do you feel about say say for instance you have a an apartment in the city? You know this bustling metropolis you know and you have this apartment and it's it's the place to be <laughs> but yeah. uh but then all of a sudden your your metropolis or town or whatever you live in um is now being sieged and it has it has been deleveled and you've lost your housing you know uh how would that make you feel i'll be hurt <laughs> um <laughs> No, uh, this is another interesting about the game, like how like loyalties are created and arise, and um, how people actually react to situations like your node getting uh, sieged and everything. Um, I will definitely be working to protect my node um, wherever our guild ends up. Shout out Sons of the Seven, um, and 
Yeah, I think it's uh, it'll be fun. <laughs> you gotta fight people, <laughs> right? So um, I don't want to lose my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't take my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and touch on some of the co- uh, a question about the community. So there has been a lot of negative, negative. Uh, oh, fuck. There's been a lot of negative tension, I guess you can say, around Ashes of Creation's community. Um, how, how do you feel about the health of the community at this point? And do you have any words of wisdom for uh, new players or just new people in general who are <laughs> wanting to gravitate towards Ashes? Um, stay away from Guild Chat or Guild Diplo Chat and the... Uh... <laughs> Ashes discussion chat. That that is barren chat right there. There's nothing going on. Um, I, I'd say if you're just getting into the community, hit the forums. Uh, look for a guild. Um, that would be the best way to start getting into the game, finding people to talk with. Uh, most of the guilds around are actually really cool about people just shopping around and just talking with people about the game, like getting into it, seeing where everyone's uh, kind of vision of the game lies. Uh, but as far as the actual Discord goes, I, w- I wouldn't say the Guild of Diplo that's already kind of established with some of the heads of multiple guilds just uh, not going at it, but they're, they're definitely... Uh, they're very passionate <laughs> each other a little bit <laughs> yeah but it's awesome like it, it, i don't i don't personally hate it but i don't personally like it either um but it's fun to see uh, and see how this plays into the game later on <laughs> loyalties are being made right now without anyone knowing it right. um and then everything else is just kind of barons chat just people coming in and saying hi and just you you don't want to go there you just go to the forums you'll find a bunch of discussion on the forums and uh definitely shop around for guilds um i'm not saying sons of the seven is uh, the best one but uh it is uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh um but the, the it's a great community uh you just have to get around the the ashes discord <laughs> all right so we come to the segment of the show where i ask you some rapid fire questions are you ready for these? No. Okay. Well, too bad. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna begin. Uh, question one: Dungeon Crawler Network is hosted by who? Agulos. 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 You. Agulos. I'll give it to you. You're. You're. You're, you're getting there eventually. <laughs> it's bad because I've talked to him before. That's the worst part. Uh, All right. Two. Um, Ashes of Creation will be on Steam. No, it will not. That is I've correct. I've heard of it. Okay. You're correct. Uh, goblins are a confirmed race of Ashes of Creation. No, unless goblins is the Underrealm race. Rip. No, you're, you're, you're right. No, uh, they, are oh, okay. not, they are not a playable race. Okay. All right, four... Plane, uh, right. Who summoned the gateways as a means of escape from the old world? I know they're going to be the gods of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're you're right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah you got All it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Except for that Aga- Agello. <laughs> okay. And, you know, I'm just going to start calling him Aggie. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think he'll like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> All right, so that brings us to the end of the show. I want to thank my special guest, Nate Smooth, for taking the time and participating in this project. You're welcome back anytime to discuss... To discuss uh, you're welcome back anytime to discuss anything Ashes, pretty much. All right, so for those who are curious to find your content, where can they go? Uh, thanks for having me, Mackie. This is awesome. I love what you're doing. Um, as far as where you can find me, uh, most of my stuff is on my Twitch page, uh, so you can find me at twitch.natesmooth. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'll have like my Twitter, my YouTube, my Instagram if you want to see how I'm living life. Um, yeah, you, you'll find most of it right there. Uh, definitely stop by for Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming 
couple times a week, kind of all over this place with my schedule. But uh, stop by, just give a follow. If you like me, you like me. Um, yeah, and I, I'm pretty much in this bubble of Nate Smooth. <laughs> But if you're playing Ashes, you'll more than likely know me by Maku, Moku, uh, in-game, as far as on the forums and everything. But you'll also see Nate Smooth referenced as well. Awesome. All right, so everyone who's curious to find him, I'll have the links in the description below the video. I want to thank you again, and thank you for everybody who's listening or watching. And we will see you again next time, all right? Awesome. Sounds Peace great. Out. Okay. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> oh shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, in their zones. If you're quite, oh, I have to fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> we start with. Follow our links below for more content and subscribe. <laughs>